and give everything to God, sometimes it's hard to trust when you are in the difficult time, when you are in the trials or testing, but still continue to trust God. In all your ways, acknowledge Him and He will make your path straight. Don't rely to your own understanding, but rely on God. Do you sometimes feel that your worries make you not trust God? What specific things do you need to do in order to develop the trust in God? Read the word of God. God is word, word was God. Everything will pass away, but His word will remain. Faith is comes by the hearing and the hearing of the word of God. So at least can develop your trust. Faith is the substance of things so for, the evidence of things you have not seen. Even you do not see, still you believe. There's God with you. You can trust. When you feel discouraged, be strong and courageous. After you hear the word. What areas of your life now? Physical, emotional, spiritual, financial. Do you need to entrust to God more? Yes. And spiritual, especially. Yes, your time to come when you read the word. No one is ordered to Jesus. Jesus is the best, good example. And the word of trust. By this time it was noon, but darkness fell across the whole land until three o'clock. The light from the sun was gone, and suddenly the thick veil hanging in the temple was torn apart. Then Jesus shouted, Father, I entrust my spirit into your hands. And with those words he breathed, his last breath. When the captain of the Roman soldiers handed him the executions, saw what had happened. He praised God and said, Surely this man was innocent. Luke 23, 44, 47. Yes, before he died, he trusts his spirit to God. I continue. He trusts God until his last breath because he knows there's God with him. Jesus is a model of how to die well. He was at peace that it was his time. He wasn't afraid to die. Yes, nothing to be afraid to die, if we know, is there Jesus in your heart? If you receive him, you repent. You read his word, you have intimate relationship with him. And you know where you're going in eternal heaven, eternal life in heaven uh, to Jesus. He died with no unresolved relationship. He wasn't angry or bitter. I know unforgiveness. We have to forgive to others to have peace like Jesus. Jesus gave up his life voluntarily, confidently, trusting God. Into your hands I commit my spirit. Deliver my Lord, my faithful God. Yes, before we die, I call God. Good, if we have a chance. But now this is your chance for all of you to call Him. Whatever happened, pray. Prayer is so powerful. When you feel this courage, 
your father in heaven who who loves me. I came from the father and entered the world. Now I'm leaving the world. I'm going back to the father. John 16, 28. Yes, everybody will die. The question where you go in. You have to go to God, to Jesus Christ, if you believe. As a father has a compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who honor him. Psalm 103, 13. Yes, but delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desire of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust him and it shall bring to pass. But seek first his kingdom and righteousness. And all these things will be added on to us. Yes, he knows what's the best for us. If we delight in him first, he will give you what you need, and more than what you need. Because he is our provider. He will provide our needs according to his riches and glory. He's our deliverer, our supplier. We can trust. Thanks God, is there's God. We need to appreciate what he has done for us when he gave his life. Most importantly, the materialist. My father can be trusted. For the word of the Lord holds true. And everything that he does is worthy of our trust. Psalm 33, 4. Yes, don't trust yourself. Don't rely to your own understanding. Yes, but rely on God all the time. For this reason, I also suffer these things. But I am not ashamed, for I know whom I have believed. And I am convinced that he is able to guard what I have entrusted to him until that day. Second Timothy 1. Yes, it, you know, it's, there's God's with you. It's nothing to worry about because he is comforting. But Jesus called for them, saying, Permit the children and to come to me and do not hinder them. For the kingdom of God belongs to such this. Truly I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a child will not enter it all. Luke 18, 16 to 17. Yes, Jesus he loves children. Train up the child. Train up your child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. As a teach who is Jesus Christ to your children. So when they grow up, it's nothing to worry about because they know who they will call. It's only to Jesus. I saw the dead, the great and the small standing before the throne, and books were open, and another book was open which is the book of life. And the dead were just from the things which were written in the books according to their deeds. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it. And death and Hades gave up the dead which were in them. And, and they were just, every one of them according to their their deeds are Revelations 20, 12 to 13. Yes, only God can judge. He knows what's the best for us. If your name is not written in the book of life, a throw in the lake of fire, which is hell. Yeah, hell is written. Now what about believers who get confused and stop believing? For those who wax liner, this is your time to come back to God because He's waiting for you. 
This is your chance to come. He loves you, loves sinners. How many deceivers who do not acknowledge Jesus Christ as coming in the flesh have gone out into the world? Watch out that you do not lose what you have worked for, but that you have rewarded fully. Second John 1, 7, 8. Yes, a complete mission accomplished was, was the task God he gave to you. If you are leaders, uh, do it uh, perfect. Hmm? If you are pastors, worship leaders, uh, so many gifts that God is gave us. So use it. The talents to serve God. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creature. The old things pass away, behold, new things have come. A second Corinthians 5 17. Yes, only God can transform us. The old is gone, and new is come. It's like caterpillar. Ugly. But God, he changes. He can change us like a beautiful butterfly. It's not impossible to God. Ask God to deliver you for any kind of negative spirit. Like Magdalene, he changed her to become more beautiful and good follower of Christ. What about believers who die of suicide? He who has the Son as the life, he does not have the Son of God, does not have the life. I write these things to you who believe in the name of Son of God, so that you may know that you have eternal life. 1 John 5, 12, 13, yes. It's only God can judge can judge for those who committed suicide if they are with the Lord. No, but don't commit suicide. It's there's God can trust. Restore. God can restore what's the devil's he stolen from you. Your wealth, financial, relationship, everything. Nothing can separate from the love of God. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angel, nor principalities, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor death, nor any created things will be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord, Romans 8, 38 to 39. Yes, nothing can separate from the love of God because He loves us so much. My Father is taking care of things I cannot see. Yes, for momentary light affliction is producing for us an eternal way of glory for beyond all comparison. When we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal. But the things which are not seen are eternal. It's good to believe even you do not see yes because faith is comes by the belief by the hearing and the hearing of the word of god and god is a spirit don't say to see is to believe it's good to believe even you do not see my father can handle everything they put in his hands 
Yes. God's hands are big enough to bless me. Amen. You have engrossed me behind and before. And laid your hand upon me. Psalm 139. Five. Yes. Strong enough to keep me eternal secure. And I give eternal life to them. And they will never perish. And no one will snatch them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all. And no one is able to snatch them out of the Father's hands. John 10, 28 to 29. Yes, for those who come to God, to come to Jesus, He's the one who can protect us. Yes, and Jesus said, Come to me for those who are tired and labor. I will give you rest. Follow me. Yes, and he protect you. Scared so that he cannot forget me. Can a mother forget the baby at her breast and have no compassion on the child she was born? So she may forget. I will not forget you. I have engraved you on the palms of my hands. I sigh for the 9, 15 and 16. Now sometimes the parents, they forget their children. But Father in heaven, they cannot forget you. Yes, because he loves you so much. That's why he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Amen. Praise God. Rejoice. Because there's God who is comforting us. For we do not want you to be unaware, brethren, of our affliction which has come to us in Asia, that we were burdened excessively beyond our strength, so that we despaired even of life in them. And we had a sentence of death within ourselves, that we would not trust in ourselves. But in God, who raises the dead, He delivered us from such a deadly peril, and He delivered us on Him. We have said, our hope that he will deliver us again. Second Corinthians 1, 8, 9. Yes, uh, even uh, Peter, you know, when he was in jail, he completely trusts God. Yes, and God, he set him free. When he sent angel, yes, to apostles or to other 